to another Minecraft video with Ryan. No. Hello and welcome to another Minecraft video with Ryan. Today I will be showing off my um my way of locking folders and files in in um Windows 10. It works on Windows 8. I'm not sure about Windows 7, but it probably does. Um, so this is done using using batch coding. Just to let you know, I made this all by myself, no helps or anything. Okay, so how you how you first open it? You go do command prompt and then do a trib minus h minus s and then hide dot bat is what the thing is called and then you exit out and then you notice this comes here and then you go in and you can customize it so that it's your name but right now i have it ryan and then my password is one two three four and then it says invalid password since that's not my password what's my password Password is password, and then you unlock locker dot bat, and then the password is uh, is harder password. And since I got it wrong, it it generates this locked folder with unlock dot bat and warning dot txt. I had to like paste to file or something and stuff like that. So I open this, hit buy, and then deletes everything in there and then and then whoever's trying to steal your files are like oh man and then they just leave and they forget about it so the real password is passwords i think yeah and then this folder comes up right now i don't have anything in it you can just make like a text document with your passwords in it or something To lock it, you can go in locker.bat, hit Y, enter, and then it closes that. And you go into hide.bat, put in your name, and then hit Y. And then go into hide.bat again, put in your name, type H, and then hit Y. Okay, now if it says here, done. Hope you know the way to get back in. If you forget, do not push any key and ask the writer of this script. So I made it so that you can type B K U P all caps, and then it brings you back to the beginning just in case you like messed up and didn't want to close it. Okay. Uh, yeah, there are some bugs where it goes back to the beginning whether you like it or not but you can just close it at that point and it like refreshes and it's gone okay now you go into the code here is my like folder for it um i made it have an icon and you can do that by clicking properties and then advanced no uh properties Customize, change icon, and then you can go through this list of things and find the key. I, I actually like that really good. And um, you can make it so that it's a key. It'll load. Should load. Whatever. Okay, now to go in here. So you remember, this is really important, a trib minus h, with, with two t's, by the way, a trib minus h minus s, and then hide dot bat, or whatever you decide to call the first file. Okay, now we go into hide dot bat. <coughs> the code is pretty simple. Granted, you know batch coding, but I'm sure you know batch coding if you're going to watch this video but don't feel bad because you can just copy and paste it in the description 
Okay, as usual, uh, at Echo Off, a trib minus H minus X. I dot that just in case you forget to do one of those. And then it gives you the title, asks you what's your name, and then here's where you can customize your name. where you customize your name, they have to be the same, and here is where you customize your password. Okay, so the way this works is that even if you, like, copy and paste this code in, it detects if your private folder is there, and if it's not there, it creates the it creates the folder, I mean it creates the folder, but it doesn't have anything in it obviously, and it calls it private. You can name it whatever you want, and it won't change anything, and you don't have to change anything in here. And then it, te and then it tests that locker.bat um, exists, and then if you go down to where it's confirmed, Locker.bat exists, it bring you to, are you sure you want to lock, locker, and then, and then it asks you for a choice, and then it'll, you can either type capital Y, lowercase y, lowercase n, capital N, and then if it's an invalid choice, it goes back to beginning, but if you put Y, it goes to lock, goes to lock, I really should put spaces between all these lock uh, it renames locker.bat to htg locker.bat and then it puts the attribute of htg htg locker.bat <coughs> to hide and silent and then it says locker is now locked and then it closes but if uh locker.bat does not exist, then, um, um, it, it just does everything like normal, and if also, no, I mean, it goes to unlock, where e echo enter password to unlock locker, type H if you want to hide, hide.bat, and, and before that, it tests if, HTG locker exists, which is your private folder, and then it, it, um, it goes to error, and then it says, um, sorry, we ran into a problem, you must lock the folder called private before locking locker. Lock private using locker.bat and try again, and then it says bye, and then your name. How many times is I, did I say locker? <laughs> um, okay, so you go in, put in your name, put in your password, and then locker.bat. You need to, before you even go in here, you need to have both these files, because if you don't, I mean, okay, so you have to, hold on. Okay, so pretend locker's not there for a second, and you just started here. You paste all the code into this and call it hide.bat, and then you go in, unlock locker. act like you're unlocking it, but that isn't, this isn't there, you need to make a file called locker.bat and then paste in the next code, because if you don't do it in that order, it'll ruin everything, and remember, you don't have to make a folder called private, because it automatically did that when you open hide.bat. Okay, now for the code of locker.bat. If htg locker exists, which is your private folder, then it goes to, wait, yeah, it, 
goes to unlock. Unlock. Uh, and then it asks you for the password and stuff. And if exist, if not exist, private. Go to MD Locker. And then it makes a folder called. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, this one here is the one that makes the private folder. I'm sorry. Um. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. So you need. In locker.bat, it makes the private folder. Um, and there's a special feature that I added extra. Like, all of this was by me, but I decided to have this just in case. Um, okay. It is, if you get the password wrong, it goes you to... Um, I mean, it brings you to MD Locker, and then, no, I mean, it brings you to Fail. So, in Fail, it makes a folder called Locked Folder in this directory, like it'll show up here. And then, and then it, um, it pastes, echo, do not open, unlock.bat. To, it, I mean, it pastes do not open on lock.bat to current directory. I mean, that's changed directory, but since it has parentheses around it, I mean, um, it just basically sets to this directory so you don't have to like go in and type where the folder is. It makes a folder called locked folder. I mean, it already made it, so it goes into lock folder and then makes a file called warning.txt and then pastes that in. And then it pastes this batch code, like everything from this side over on these three lines, at echo off, delete, and then that folder, and then end. And then it pastes it to unlock.bat, so it like made a batch file right there. And you can use this technique to like have have like all my programs here, all the programs. Like if if someone else wanted them, I could just give them this super long code, and then it would just make all the all the things. And that would be cool. That's probably my next project. <laughs> now that I think about it. So let me just do a demonstration of me typing in the wrong password locked folder with unlock.bat with everything I said it would and then warning.txt do not open unlock.bat you open it hit y and then it deletes everything in this folder once it was horrible I typed in the command wrong and it deleted everything in this folder so I had to sort of like start over but luckily I had a copy and it was in the trash can. So if you ever delete something, look in the trash can. Okay, so I demonstrate opening it the right way. So open private. And then you have your passwords in there and stuff. And you can also use the properties thing to customize, change icon. For me, I like it to be this one, except with the keys. And if you want to make this look cooler, I guess, you can compress content to say this space, and then it sort of turns blue. Um, so, you to open everything, to open hide.bat, you need command prompt .exe. If you do not have command prompt .exe, you open it from somewhere else, and you have to like change the directory to go to this directory. That would just make it a pain for both you and whoever wanted to break into your file. So you could just make a command prompt here, and you can even call this folder command prompt. So it's like you go in and find command prompt, and no one will suspect that there are hidden files here. Just make sure no one deletes this file.
And that is basically it. I will put a pastebin link in the description for you to have fun with this. And remember, before before you complain to me that nothing is working, please customize. Make sure you customize the file. And so 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 you don't go to me and say I can't get in and stuff. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I would really like it if you subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. And if you like this video, comment on the video or my channel. <clears throat> and make sure you spread the word about my channel. I'm new for YouTubing. I've only been doing it for a couple months and I only have six subscribers. So if you want to subscribe, you'll be number seven. And tell your friends about it too. See you.